hello everyone so now we are going to do one more lab in this one we have some issue actually we need to fix the issue in the small enterprise network they start a small organization in that one they are having four computers two switches before they are using the network individually later they connected the switches and they want to share the information example what i want to say you here before no link we don't have this link this is separately they connected this is separately they connected okay they separately connected like this and they use the ip schema 192 168 1.1 1.2 and here they use 2.2 2.1 and the individual computers are working they are communicating this guy is communicating with this guy everything is working perfectly and this guy this guy is communicating with this guy they are working perfectly later when they have uh, what we can say they have the requirement that some resources from this computer need to send to this machine so what they done they connected this one they connected this one and after that they are thinking to change the ip schema okay because they are in the different network different network cannot communicate if you see this is a class c i hope you remember in the class c what we have this is a class c ip in the class c we have the three network portion one host portion in the class we have like this so network portion should be same if you want to if you want to communicate the what we can say if you want to communicate this ip network portion should be same if the network portion is different then you need to use the router then you need to use the router so in simple in short what i want to say you that if they are in the same network we can use switch directly it will work if they are in the different network then we need to use the router so here if you see this one we have three n three network portion here if you compare what we have we have this three network portion here is one here is two so they cannot communicate they cannot communicate example if you check here if you go and if you start pinging the different network pc 192.168.2.1 it will not work because this guy is in different network they, that guy is in different network they cannot work if you want to make the communication between different network then you need to use the router okay so what we can say a router is a device which is used to make the communication between different network so you have two solution to fix this issue you have two solution to fix this issue you can change the ip schema you can change the ip schema example this one you can change instead of 2.2 uh, you can change here as 192.168.1. you use here 1.1 1.2 so you can use 1.3 and this one you can use as a 1.4 so it will start working or if you want to keep this ip same here you can change as a 2.3 and 2.4 even this way also you can use means here instead of this one you will write 192.168.2.3 for this pc and for this pc 2.4 so then it will start working again but if your manager told don't change any ip schema and try to make work then you need to buy the router you need to purchase the router and connect this interface to the router interface and connect this interface to the router interface maybe this is a fast ethernet 0 by 0 and this is a fast ethernet 0 by 1 and assign the ip here whatever ip you want to assign that ip should be from this network means here whatever the network we are using network portion that portion should be same for this interface and here also whatever the network portion we are using that network portion should be same for this interface in short network part should match example i am using here 192.168.1.1 .1. so you can use here 192.168.1. anything maybe 1.2 you use here so 1.3 you can use or 1.100 you can use but this network portion should be same okay so what i am saying in short if your manager told don't change the ip schema try to make this work then you need to bring the router and connect this to router and assign the ip to this router whatever ip you are assigning that should belongs to this network and in this interface whatever you are assigning that should belongs to this network 
and then whatever IP we assign that IP we need to give give as a default gateway for this computer for this computer and here in this interface whatever IP we assign we need to give to this machine and give to this machine as a gateway okay we will see that later no issue but now ima imagine your manager told we don't have the budget we cannot buy the router try to fix like this way only so simple just go here okay and change the IP what I will do here instead of uh, 2 I will use here 1 and we use 1.2 so I will use this as a 3 okay I use this IP so I can make the same network I will go and I will change the label also so label by seeing the label also you are not confused so here I will assign as a 1.4 okay this one I will give as a 1.4 okay before giving let me uh, we already ping right before they are not working yeah so now let me assign here let me go here and change this here okay I change this here now it will start working you can go here and the IP which you are going to ping you are going to ping the 1.3 so what we will do ping 192.168.1.3 okay it is working now working perfectly if you see it is working perfectly why because they are in the same network this portion and this portion if you compare same okay so they are in the same network that's why we are using switch if they are in the different network then you need to use the router so you need to remember this one even if you are fresher you join as a fresher like a network engineer as a fresher then you need to understand this concept and you can troubleshoot the issue you can change the IP schema or you can bring the router in between the two different networks. This is the basic. Try to understand the concept. This is the basic. Just you need to remember this is a class C IP 192.168.1.1 slash 24. Slash 24 means this three portion should be same for all IP if you want to make the communication. If this three part is not same then you need to use the router to make the communication between different network. So we need to remember router is a device which is used to make the communication between different network okay i hope it is clear for you in case if you face any issue whatsapp us follow us in the instagram messages we are going to support you this is especially for the fresher who don't know anything about the networking but they love to become as a network engineer we are going to support you no need to worry if you have any issue financial or anything you can whatsapp us we will see how we can support you, in which direction we can support you, we will try to support you, okay, thank you, bye.